So what is the difference between an American Pitbull Terrier and the American Bully? Well, I'll grab my morning coffee and I'll explain it all to you. Welcome back to The K and I Show. My name's Will, I'm a behaviourist and on this channel I make videos just like this one to educate people all about these amazing dog breeds. If you guys ever want to ask me any questions or chat with me, I have an email address in the description box below that I love chatting to you all on every single day. I recently got a good email asking me to explain exactly what the difference is between an American Pitbull Terrier and American Bully, which I thought was a great question to do a video on as they are easily mistaken for one another with many people thinking they're actually basically the same breed. Whereas actually since 2013, the American Bully has been recognised by the United Kennel Club as its own separate breed. To help us understand the differences, we'll break it up into sections on the differences in their history, the differences in their looks, and the differences in their temperament. And you'll then see these breeds are very much different individual breeds. So firstly, a quick overview of the American Pitbull's history. And that is that they were created here in the UK in the early 1800s. The breed started its development from the old English Bulldog. That Bulldog looks nothing like the English Bulldog we see today, and they actually looked a lot more like the current American Bulldog. They were bred for a variety of blood sports, including bull and bull bear baiting, where they were renowned for being the best breed in this cruel sport. After bull and bear baiting was made illegal, people turned towards ratting, which was still legal, and the breed got its name as people would use pit so that the rats could not escape, and the pit bulls were thrown in to kill the rats for sport. And although illegal, they were commonly used in dog fighting as this was easily hidden from authorities and rarely enforced at the time. However, these sports required more speed and athleticism. So breeders would mix in terrier breeds and that is what we see of the start of the American pit bull terrier that we have today. Whereas American bullies history only dates back to the 1990s in the US, the breeding program begun to create a perfect family companion. People started by crossing the American Pitbull Terrier and the American Staffordshire Terrier to create the base stock for a breed that retained the Pitbull's looks and build but removed the drive and dog aggression and heightened the gentle nature and loving, loyal temperaments in the dog. Dozens of breeders all around the United States began developing these dogs and it's not sure if they were actually in contact or not. My guess is that they weren't, as their looks vary wildly, and that is something we'll discuss more later. It's thought many of these breeders also started mixing in other breeds into the programme, including American Bulldogs, English Bulldogs, Bull Mastiffs and Bull Terriers. So, as you can see, although the American Bully has the Pitbull in its lineage, their histories and initial purpose is very different. But we'll look at their temperaments now, and we'll see how the breeding programme has differentiated their temperaments as well. And again, we'll start with the American Pitbull's temperament, which despite popular belief and media portrayal, the Pitbull is not actually an aggressive dog at all, especially not with humans, but I'll talk about animal aggression in a second. The actual temperament of the Pitbull is a combination of playful, boisterous and friendly, and it does have a strong desire to please its owners, and it is known to be very good with children and good with children of all ages. They make excellent watchdogs and guard dogs as they are deeply loyal and protective, but combined with their gentleness around their family does make them a good family guard dog. Now, yes, the Pitbull does have a very high prey drive, and that comes from the Terrier and its bloodlines, which does make them excellent working dogs, especially things like eradicating vermin on farms and large properties. And like all breeds with high prey drives, dog-to-dog -dog aggression can be a common problem, and the Pitbull is infamous for its high drive and what many people call gameness, which is where the Pitbull has insane levels of courage and determination despite any worry of harm to itself. And it's these drives and their gameness that when you have a challenging Pitbull can make the end results disastrous. Now, the American Bully's temperament is one that is pure just joy and happiness. They form extremely strong ties with their owners, and although they may look tough, which was bred on purpose, but in reality, American Bullies are just real sweethearts, and they love nothing more than to spend as much time as possible with the people they love, which will be your entire family and friendship group, as they really do have plenty of love to go around. 
American bullies are also known to be very, very good around children of all ages because of their sheer, genuine love for them. They can get a little excited just to be with them and as with any dog, you do need to be careful this excitement doesn't lead to accidents. They are also known to be excellent around strangers and people they don't know. Like all breeds, this can differ from dog to dog and some may be a little bit more wary, but as a whole, a well-socialised American bully will greet everyone with excitement and kisses. Before we move on to the looks, it's worth noting their intelligence and trainability at this point. Both dogs are very intelligent and capable of excellent levels of obedience, but the American Pitbull can be a bit more feisty, especially when young. They love to learn but can be a little headstrong and the drives can get the better of them at times, whereas the American Bullies can tend to be slightly more focused and less likely to question commands as they just have such insane levels of wanting to please you. They really are a dream to work with and will keep a smile on your face the whole time you're working with them. So let's look at their looks and to make it easier to distinguish between the two, again we'll start with the Pitbulls overview, then we'll do the Bullies overview and then we'll compare the two. The Pitbull is a medium sized, very well muscled and solidly built dog that is equally as athletic looking as it is powerful. They have a medium length head with a broad and flat skull with wide deep muzzles and they can come in all colours and patterns of colours except for Merle. The American Bully's size and height varies drastically from 33cm to 53cm or 13 inches to 21 inches and can weigh anywhere from 31 kilos up to 90 kilos or 200 pounds. This wide variety has caused the American Bully to be commonly broke up into three sub-sizes, being the Pocket American Bully, the Standard American Bully and the Extra Large American Bully. American Bullies are impressive dogs with extremely muscular bodies. They have unique shaped heads which is one of the breed's key characteristics being broad and very large and it's matched by the powerful wide physique of the rest of its body. Now this can on paper make them sound very similar but it's when you see them side by side that it becomes evident. The American Bully's head is much wider and they tend to have much shorter legs in proportion to their bodies regardless of how big they are. For example if you had an equally tall pit bull and an American Bully you tell from their heads and their leg to body proportion which one separates which one. So as you can see, if you knew what you were looking for, it is easy to tell them apart. But I do also understand how it's very easy to confuse the two breeds as well. Interestingly, even though the American Bully isn't registered here as its own breed standard in our UK Kennel Club, many often come with excellent pedigrees that do prove that they aren't technically American Pit Bulls, which does make them legal to own here, whereas the American Pit Bull Terrier is still banned. So to conclude, I actually think breeders have done a very good, excellent job with the American Bully. They have created a dog with Pitbull style looks without the drawbacks that they can pose. I would have liked to see breeds communicate a little bit better to have a better breed standards, especially in terms of size, as I think this would have given them a better chance at being registered by some of the world's more leading authorities. But the differing classes of the pocket bully, the standard bully and the extra large bully does help with this and hopefully they'll get there with the big authority soon. I hope that answers the question. With anything like this I could go into a lot more detail but I don't want to bore people and make it a half an hour video. So if you do have any questions about these two breeds or another question or comment the email is in the description box below. You can click top left for all my contests in our current tournament to determine the ultimate guard dog breed for first time owners or you can click bottom left for another video of mine that I think you'll enjoy. If you are new here don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss another episode of the K9 Show.